in today's machine learning class we will see the next lesson that is third unit first part second lesson uh, that is based in concept learning and in this class we will try to understand what is concept learning and then base theorem after that we will see one example for this base theorem that is malignancy identification of a patient's tumor first let us see what is concept learning concept learning is exactly similar like uh, how a child starts to learn a new words for example let us take a ball okay how the child learns the ball object right okay so uh, we have to provide more number of balls collection of balls okay first uh, the child confused many different colors shapes and size of the ball okay here uh, we are having more collection of balls they are uh, different colors different shape and different size also and it may also get confused with some object similar to balls okay like balloon so this is balloon and this is globe so the child will confuse with balloons and globes because the size is similar like balls like right? so the parents that is the child parent continuously feed the positive example to the child positive examples means more number of balls okay that is this is ball this is green color ball here they introduce color and the ball is small so here they introduced shape right so that the child will learn which is exactly the ball and they can easily differentiate that from balloon and globe similarly through negative examples also we can teach the objects to the ch child for example uh, this is balloon suppose if the child points to the balloon points to the balloon and it will say this is not a ball this is not a ball okay whatever object it may be but this is not balloon okay but through positive examples suppose if we give more varieties of the same object then the child can easily learn the exact object for example ball okay so these are the different varieties of balls okay that is different types of balls so like the same the machine can also learn positive examples through positive examples okay so this is called as concept learning next let us see the base theorem base theorem is exactly similar of the mathematical model of concept learning right so here we try to correlate the learning process of meaning of a word okay that means we are having a set of words set of words which relate to a similar object okay so this set is called as concept set c concept set c now we are using a function f of k f of k if f of k is 1 means the k is within the set c that is a particular word in a set if k is 0 means the word is not inside the set right so to learn the function f this function defines the elements which are inside the set c or not inside the c or not okay so by using the function f we can easily classify the element which is inside or outside our concept set okay so this is called as binary classification binary classification that is either 1 or 0 1 means the word is inside the set 0 means the word is not inside the set okay so in base theorem we will learn how to use standard probability calculus to determine the uncertainty about the function 
uncertainty about the function f and we can validate the classification by feeding positive examples by feeding positive examples right so how we are going to validate suppose if the if the word is similar to that particular object so this is called as positive example this is called as positive example so by feeding more number of positive examples the machine can easily learn that particular concept now let us see what is bayes theorem that is bayes probability rule bayes probability rule is p of a gives b which is equal to p of b gives a into p of a divided by p of b okay so this is bayes rule here the event a and b are event and they are conditionally related events conditionally related events right and p of a gives b which denotes the probability of event a occurring when the event b has already occurred okay b has already occurred then what is how much chance are there for the event a that gives p of a gives b when come to machine learning the bayes theorem will be p of h gives t which is equal to p of t gives h into p of h divided by p of t here the h is nothing but the hypothesis and t is nothing but training data set training data set okay so here the prior probability will be given to uh, the bayes theorem and the training data will also be given for the bayes theorem and the output will be the posterior probability let us see what is prior and posterior probability here so the posterior probability is actually the output of our bayes theorem okay what are the input we are having the prior probability and the data that is the likelihood and marginal likelihood okay so the training data and the prior probability are input and posterior probability is output okay let us see these technical terms in detail let us try to understand what is the prior and posterior probability so initially we are having the training data set t which is having some observed data okay what is the purpose of training data set which is used to train the model and the data is pre processed error free data isn't it so this is called as observed data and this data is used to determine the best hypothesis in space in space h right by using the knowledge of t what is t t is nothing but the training data set by using knowledge of training data set we can easily determine the best hypothesis right so our next one is prior probability p of h prior probability means the prior knowledge or the belief about the probability or the prior knowledge about the probability various hypothesis in h is called as prior probability that is the prior knowledge or the belief about the probability of various hypothesis h is called as prior probability that is probability of h and the posterior probability posterior probability means p of h gives t that means the probability that particular hypothesis hold for the data set based on the prior is called as posterior probability or simply posterior okay that means based on this particular h that is prior knowledge how much data it will be hold in the data set is called as posterior probability so according to the bayes theorem uh, the posterior probability that is p of h gives t which increased then the likelihood and prior probability is also increased 
okay these two things will also be increased and the p of t that will be decreased that is the marginal likelihood will get decreased that means the prayer prob that is the post prayer probability likelihood and prayer probability are directly proportional to each other that means if it increase this also get increased if this decrease this also get decreased but when come to the post prayer probability and the marginal likelihood these two are indirectly proportional to each other and next let us see maximum a post prayer hypothesis map so which is used to find out the maximum probable hypothesis h from the set of hypothesis capital h that is h which belongs to capital h given the observed training data okay this maximally probable hypothesis is called as maximum a posteriori hypothesis maximum a posteriori hypothesis which is posteriori Uh, this one is the posterior isn't it posterior probability so h map h map means maximum hypothesis value that is the argument max h belongs to capital h of the posterior probability p of h gives t p of h gives t we can substitute this value into p of h gives t so argument map max of h belongs to capital h which is equal to p of t gives h into p of h divided by p of t so this value will be substituted here okay as p of t is constant independent of h isn't it so there is no dependency between p of t and p of h so we can remove this p of t because this is independent value so argument max h belongs to capital h into p of h gives t into p of h why we remove this because this is the independent value and next to try to understand the likelihood okay from the argument max okay so every hypothesis h capital h has equal probable priority okay that is small h then we can determine p of h gives t from the probability p of t gives h only right here p of t gives h this is the likelihood of data t given h data t given h okay so this is called as likelihood p of t gives h is called as likelihood any hypothesis that maximize this likelihood is called as maximum likelihood that is which particular value is maximum that is called as maximum likelihood of the hypothesis h okay that is h ml which is equal to r max h belong to h p of t gives h that is the maximum value of the likelihood is called as maximum likelihood and now let us see one example that is malignancy detect identification in a particular patient's tumor so that we can easily understand the base concept uh, here we have two alternative hypothesis first one is particular tumor is uh, malignant and second hypothesis is particular tumor is not malignant that is if the tumor is the serious or not for the patient or not right so the prayer that is available knowledge is only 0.5% of population has this kind of tumor which is malignant so the population is 100% from the 100% only 0.5% are having this particular malignant tumor and the laboratory report that is the laboratory test has some amount of incorrectness some amount of incorrectness what is that it could detect the malignancy has present only 98% accuracy 
the malignant present that is from the 0.5 percent it will it will predict the malignancy is 98 percent and 2 percent incorrectness right and it should show the malignancy was not present correctly 97 percent that is from the 99.5 percent it will deduct 97% of correct answer and 3% is not correct okay so this is the laboratory test result so we are having two different types of patients okay malignant type and non malignant type okay this is h1 this is h2 malignant patient and non malignant patient and malignant patient population is 0.5% and the remaining are non malignant that is 99.5% are non malignant patient and both come for lab test for testing that tumor okay so here test result is 98% correct as per lab test when come to malignant patient 98% correct result when come to non malignant patient 97% correct result okay that means here 2% wrong result and here 3% wrong result okay now we need to test whether the new patient is having malignant tumor or not this is what our problem now we need to calculate two things first one is uh, how the prior knowledge of the percentage of cancer cases in sample population and the probability of test results being correct influence the probability outcome of correct diagnosis okay the solution first we need to identify all the uh, variables here first one is the malignant tumor is empty positive lab test pt and negative lab test nt that is positive test and negative test and two hypothesis h1 and h2 h1 is the particular tumor is malignant type empty the particular tumor is non malignant type that is not empty as per our example now we try to substitute the values for all the variables the first one is probability of empty probability of mt is percentage of malignant tumor from the whole population is 0.005 and uh, the probability of non malignant non malignant is 0.0095 that is 1 minus 0.005 is 0.995 okay so this is the probability of non malignant this one and the probability of positive sample with respect to malignant is 98 are uh, okay and the probability of positive sample with respect to non malignant is 0.02 right so this one is 1 minus 0.98 okay that is 0.02 and the positive that is probability of nt gives not empty is 98 that is the tumor is non malignant is 97% and here this is 1 minus 0.03 sorry 0.97 is 0.03 so our uh, Uh, base theorem is p of h1 gives pt that is first hypothesis with respect to positive test result okay which is equal to p of pt gives h1 into p of h1 divided by p of pt right so now we can remove this p of pt because this is independent to all those things so p of pt gives mt into p of mt that is positive test with respect to malignant tumor is 98% and p of mt is malignant tumor is 
0.005 which is equal to 0.41 percent and the second hypothesis p of h2 gives pt which is equal to p of pt gives h2 into p of h2 divided by pt here also we can remove this one because this is independent to these two things right so p of pt gives non malignant tumor that is positive test with respect to non malignant tumor into non malignant tumor that is equal to 0.02 into 0.995 which is equal to 1.99 percentage here p of h2 gives pt is uh, 1.99 percentage which is higher than p of h1 gives pt that is 0.49 percentage okay it is clear that hypothesis h2 has more probability being true isn't it so h map which is equal to which is maximum value h2 is having maximum value h2 which is equal to non malignant type okay which indicates that the posterior probability which is posterior probability this one the posterior probability of malignancy is higher than that of non malignancy and the probability of patient not having malignancy is still higher than the basis of prior knowledge so through this problem that is based theorem what we understand uh, the prior knowledge is 0.5% population are having malignant malignant tumor isn't it uh, that means 99.5% patients are non malignant but as per our computation this value may be increased this value may be increased okay so we identify the probability of one hypothesis that is h2 is higher than the other hypothesis that is h1 h1 that is the non malignant value may be increased when compared to the malignant patients we did not completely accept or reject the hypothesis by this theorem and so far we have learned what is concept learning and the base theorem in the base theorem we have seen the likelihood prior probability and posterior probability after that we have seen one example to explain this base theorem that is malignancy identification of patient tumor in the next class we will see another important concept from base concept learning Uh thank you